I think when it comes to creating art in any capacity, you really do need isolation, you need solace, you need to pull yourself away from the things that make you feel comfortable, or the things that can become somewhat of a distraction. In 2010, I decided to move to the Sierra Nevada mountains full-time. It wasn't really something I'd planned, but um, there was a lot of things at play that brought me to that place, and I just decided not to fight it. I'd been living in Los Angeles for a decade before I moved to the mountains, and with all the craziness and the things I was involved with then, with the gallery and doing design work, I just really needed a change of pace. You know, I got to the point after living in the mountains for the past four years that I just came to a place of creative clarity. I was able to slow myself down and really think about my work in the context of my new surroundings. You know, having time to create has really been a lucrative asset for me. Every day I spend the morning looking at landscapes, the plants, the rocks, the birds, the sky. I think it's my way of preparing myself before I head into the studio for the day. It clears the mental palate, so to speak. Cushion of Memory is about not necessarily my dreams and memories, but dreams and memories on a human level. You know, when you try to remember a dream, your brain's going to pull things from different places, depending on what the dream or memory is about. It might be things that are sad, things that make you happy. There's a fragmentation. That's one of the things that's always attracted me to abstraction, as opposed to things that are more representational. It sort of lets you fill in the blanks. Despite living in the mountains and being secluded from society, I, I, I'm still very much influenced by the world around me. Where there's war, climate change, struggles with the human condition. I mean, these are things that have always informed my work and will continue to inform my work. I would have never thought in a million years I would have moved to the mountains. I really think the natural beauty up here has had a profound effect on me. With these new paintings, there's simplicity to the visuals, and it's probably a result of me just simplifying my life.